I certainly welcome days like today, Keith, because it helps you get rid of any remaining ice that's in your driveway or walkways. And yeah. there's been quite a bit given the last kind of storms we've had. Yeah, you can kind of kind of reset stuff uh, yep. because it was, we were getting a thick coating out there and we got to 47 today. You know, wow. I was talking about being able to take your jacket off in the car with the sun. And today was another milestone where um, you're able to do that without the car even on, right? We just had enough incoming uh, solar radiation to get us there. 47, 47, 45 up the coastline, 45 in Bangor as well. But, you know, it's Maine, so we've got some snow showers going on into the mountains right now. This is a warm front, cold front combo back here. And uh, it will actually accumulate some snow in the high terrain and uh, north of Millinocket overnight tonight. The rest of us, of course, too mild to be seeing any accumulating snow temperatures right around uh, 38 to 40. So a couple of rain showers out there. Snow continues early tomorrow morning again north of Millinocket up to Caribou and then we clear out tomorrow. You start the day and you think it's going to be a lot like today. Bright, pretty mild to start, but not really. Temperatures will fall through the day as that air mass comes in. So we end up around freezing upper 20s or so uh, away from the coastline, which is not cold, cold for this time of the year, but obviously the change will be relatively drastic. Chilly tomorrow night, single digits and uh, teens, and then a chilly day on Friday, but again, bright. So we do get a lot of sunshine right around the freezing on Friday. So overnight tonight, one to three inches in this deeper blue, we could pick up an inch or two in the higher uh, peaks ski areas included it in that and then the rest of us nothing because it is way too warm. Next storm system comes in on Saturday. There's still a big divergence in computer models here, but um, the rain, the coast turns over to rain. I think that much we know for sure. The question is how far does this rain snow line get inland? This model I'm showing you is the European model. It's colder, keeps snow inland for a couple of hours and they keep snow in the mountains through almost the whole event. The GFS insists the rain snow line is up here though. So they will hopefully resolve their differences shortly. We'll have a snowfall map for you tomorrow. But I would say at this time, it'd be really the foothills and the mountains that I plan on getting snow Saturday night. The rest of us should be rain. And on the backside of that storm, it'll be mild. Sunday and Monday both look mild. Back to uh, average or a little below on Tuesday and then about 40 or so on Wednesday. So we're kind of we're kind of creeping up here. Um, and I really like Sunday because I think we have a shot at 50. It's dry and it's a weekend. So those are all uh, obviously positive things. Mild on Monday with a few more clouds around. Another chance at 50 realistically on Monday if everything lines up. And then colder on Tuesday. The latest uh, weekly models that go out a couple of weeks continue the theme of above average temperatures in the east. And although that doesn't mean it's going to be all like today, guys, it does kind of preclude big Arctic shots of cold air and wow. af after a busy pattern we're not seeing any of this these every couple of days storms it looks like no and if this uh, this is not going to be the end right but if this is the end of the major snow amounts it was really concentrated over just a couple of weeks basically yeah it wasn't a very long period no just seems like it when you're in it yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> it does the never-ending storms but wow <laughs> crazy mild all right keith thank you